Welcome, Scorpio. Thank you for listening to your reading of April 23, 2023 on your Zodiac Attraction channel, where you will know what the future holds, both in money, your numbers for today, love, health, work and family. So subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss anything. The moon continues its journey through Gemini and the sector of your chart that governs love, dearest Scorpio, crossing over communicative Mercury just before it enters its retrograde motion early this morning. This planetary backspin could bring forth confusion within matters of the heart, and you'll likely hear from more than one ex throughout the coming weeks. Meanwhile, Luna and Uranus align as dawn breaks, encouraging you to embrace the weird that lives within as an act of self-love. A romantic and creative energy will fill the air later tonight when the Moon and Neptune align, so be sure to direct your focus toward the activities or relationships that lift you up most. You are in an outgoing and exuberant mood. A number of opportunities in various fronts will open up in front of you and you are more than ready to take full advantage of them. Following your instincts today can lead to great things both in your finances and in your personal life and relationships. The day is going to be full of events and you are going to enjoy every moment of it. It's time to go through your contacts and review each and every member of Team Scorpio. Messenger Mercury has just turned retrograde and will spend the next three weeks in your eighth house of partnerships and legal arrangements, so for that time your focus is going to be honed in on the people in your life. Mercury retrograde can seem daunting and confusing, but that's only if you don't know how to handle it. The important thing is to remember the repart, review, redo, reorganize, revisit, etc., etc., etc. Instead of trying to forge ahead with new projects and new partnerships you should focus on refining and improving the old ones, and if you find that some cannot be improved or saved from impending doom then perhaps it's time to move on. Even if you don't consciously try to return to old projects you can expect some will come out of the woodwork, so see what emerges and remember this advice. It takes two to tango, Scorpio, and as communication planet Mercury turns retrograde in your partnership house today, you may find interpersonal interactions fraught with misunderstandings. It may be hard to uncross those wires, so unless you need to express something now, hold off until this choppy cycle ends on May 14th. Otherwise, you could dig yourself in even deeper. This is a good time for reflection and reconnection. But plan to be extra patient and give others the benefit of the doubt. Don't be surprised if an old friend or flame reappears, since retrogrades have a special way of bringing blasts from the past. Although insights about your relationships are significant now and this week, dear Scorpio, you won't have all the answers yet. You're thinking about ways to expand your life experience beyond the routine, and you can be very excited about your prospects and mind-expanding theories today. Exciting ideas with or about a partner can be in focus. Teaming up to accomplish something can be successful and empowering. It seems that with Mercury sextile Mars today, you can gently push your agenda and support others in the process. It may be difficult to relax your mind entirely, but it can be a pleasant buzz rather than an exhausting one. It's also an intense time for connecting, sharing ideas, and action-oriented conversations. Now we will tell you how it will go with money and luck, but first remember to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications, this helps us a lot and so you never miss your daily reading. Money and luck. Follow your creativity since it may lead to something spectacular, Scorpio. The watery moon in Gemini will complement your own sign, so you may feel intuitively led to pursue your ideas and passion projects. Since the moon is also forming a conjunction with Saturn in Pisces Gemini valuable part in your professional journey. You may feel more emotionally driven than usual during these transits, so do not be afraid to commit to your creative endeavors at work. There are powerful energies in the air which drive you towards assessing your finances at a deeper level today. Scorpio. Think about any changes you would like to make and how you can make them. Where is your instinct guiding you at this time? Spending some time out in nature is highly recommended as this helps to clear your mind and enables you to view things from a different perspective where necessary. Remember, trust yourself, Scorpio. Your intuition will not lead you astray. Lucky Numbers. 
Your lucky numbers for April 23rd are 30, 11, 45, 36, 15, 22. Daily Love Don't let a second of this cosmic gold pass you by, Scorpio. With all of the planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, spinning in a sacred symmetry, you can unlock your true master manifestation potential. In truth, whatever you desire can be yours if you're willing to work with intention, action, and the universe. Pull up your dream journal or vision board and look at what you'd like to create alongside the cosmos in the years ahead. If you start new patterns now, you may stick with them until you ultimately achieve them. Is it easy for you to be in relationship to others? Are you skilled in your diplomacy skills that are a necessary pillar in any healthy relationship? The moon is in Gemini and in your eighth house. It is important that you know how to compromise in your romantic partnerships, so often relationships fail because one side is not willing to hear the other one out or accommodate the other's needs. On the other hand, it could be the opposite case for you, where you give too much to the other and neglect yourself in the process. This would be a great time for you to practice finding the balance between those two ways of being. Reciprocity is something crucial to make sure that you have in your relationships. At work. You may receive some good news about better job prospects. You may be called for an interview at your dream companies. For the blooming writers it may be a great day as some of your articles or a book may get published with a renowned publisher. Your career may now follow an entirely new trajectory now. Do you feel satisfied within your partnerships at work? Is there an element of mutuality and trust in those connections of yours? These are pertinent questions to reflect on today as the moon is in Gemini and in your eighth house of business partnerships. If not, why is that and what are the things that you can do differently or change in order to have healthier and more fulfilling relations at your job? Healthy and productive relationships are built on trust, reciprocity, and hard work. Make sure that those you're in partnership with are seeking the same things you are, and are willing to show up fully in relation to you and vice versa. Health. You must pay a lot of attention to your feet. You are in a job which involves a lot of footwork, so you need to take extra care. Use socks and shoes regularly. If you experience some pain then go for a foot massage or dip your feet in warm water for half an hour or so. If the pain gets severe, consult your nearest doctor. During the moon in Gemini transit, you have the energy you need to start new projects or tackle any lingering chores that require your attention. Your passion and intensity can be harnessed to achieve great things today. Scorpio. Try to begin your day with a grounding meditation to focus your energy. Citrin is a crystal that promotes positivity and abundance. Working with citrin will attract new opportunities and prosperity into your life today. Coconut oil is a versatile ingredient that can replace any cooking oil you might use. Try cooking with coconut oil and adding it to your favorite recipes to add a tropical twist to your day. Family and Friends Romantic encounters are quite possible today. Although things may take time to work out due to certain immaturity in you and your partner too. Do not feel insecure of the partner's past and don't let ego form a ground for misunderstanding too. Just go with the flow and you are bound to form a stronger bond with your partner. They love me, they love me not, I love them, I love them not. Which is it? And for that matter is it love or is it just lust? It's time to get down to brass tacks and decide where you stand with the most important people in your life, and you better believe that includes the people who fill the, uh, most intimate places. Messenger Mercury just turned retrograde and for this cycle it will be touring your eighth house of romantic relationships, scrambling signals and making it all but impossible to figure out just where you land with someone. This transit is all about reviewing your relationships, so instead of trying to forge ahead with something or pinning all your hopes on some new flame, try to go back and look for where improvements can be made. If a relationship simply can't be salvaged it might be time to cut the strings, but it's going to be up to you to decide in the end whether someone stays or goes. We love that you get to this part of the video, don't forget to subscribe, like it and leave us your comments 
At Zodiac Attraction we always read them and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.